Hey everybody, welcome back to The Way of Ramen. Today we have a request from Urban Zeus for a recipe for menma. Now, menma is a seasoned bamboo shoot topping for ramen, and it's one of my favorites. Usually menma is fermented and it's quite hard to make, but this is a recipe I found on YouTube and I translated it for a version you can easily make at home. So let's get right into it. Now usually when I make menma at home, I use this. This is homemade canned bamboo shoots that were picked locally. I know pretty much no one has access to this, so I'll be using this instead. This is store-bought canned bamboo shoot tips. Now this stuff can get pretty funky depending on the brand and just the luck of the can, but I have noticed that the canned bamboo shoot tips have a slightly higher chance of not being completely awful smelling or hard and completely unusable, at least compared with the pre-cut bamboo shoots. So if you can't get the canned tips and slice them yourself, don't use the pre-cut bamboo shoots. Take your cut bamboo shoots and place them into a colander or strainer. Pour hot water over them to get rid of whatever funk you can and dry them off with a paper towel. Next, we're going to be making a quick chicken stock with our favorite Lee Kum Kee chicken powder. Add about 1 teaspoon to 100 milliliters of water and stir to combine. Place this on the side for later. Into a pan, add about 1 tablespoon of sesame oil. Add your bamboo shoots and saute for about 2-3 to three minutes. Now sesame oil burns pretty quickly so you want to make sure your pan's not too hot and you don't want to saute for too long. Add your chicken stock, 1 teaspoon of sake, 2 teaspoons of shoyu, and 2 teaspoons of mirin. Stir everything together and then you're just going to reduce the liquid until it's pretty much all evaporated. When nearly all the liquid is gone, add a few drops of layu, hot chili oil, and stir to combine again. And once you do that, you have now made your menma, and you can turn off your stove and let this cool down off the fire. Now if you've managed to not accidentally eat all of the menma through taste testing while you were cooling them down, you can store them in a container in the fridge for around 2 days. Add them to any bowl of ramen or just enjoy them as a snack with your beverage of choice. Again, thank you so much to Urban Zeus for the request for this video. Menma is definitely one of my favorite toppings too. What's your favorite ramen topping? If you have any questions or requests, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you right away or I'll make a video just like this one. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing and thank you guys all so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. 